So a pet peeve of mine is when I see a resume and it has a chart or a graph that's demonstrating the candidate's skill set in a specific area or on a certain uh, tool or system or platform. How are you measuring that? That's always my question, right? If someone thinks that they're advanced in Excel and then they have the long, pretty colorful line, great. <laughs> It always looks nice, it's always colorful and pretty, but realistically, how are you truly measuring it, right? Because this is really a subjective uh, matter, you know, and it depends on where you're working, how you've utilized Excel in your job, and it's just not necessary. It really takes up a lot of space. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of my recruiting colleagues will agree with me uh, when I say that when I see this, I often think that it's really just a space filler and something pretty to add to the resume, but it's really not necessary. If you are skilled or you want to highlight a certain tool, just put like a tool section and list the tool. And a lot of companies have aptitude tests where if they really wanna know how qualified you are utilizing a specific tool or system, uh, they'll give you some type of test. Uh, but otherwise, just leave it off. It just really takes up a, lot, up a lot of space. And it's really funny to me because again, there's no way to really measure someone's true experience or aptitude when it comes to a tool without testing them. All right, so just say, I'm good in Excel. And let's have some more in your resume. <laughs>